learning objectives in this lesson you would be learning about manufacturing techniques and the following in detail handling and operation of fully automated and semi automated manufacturing and testing machines the short form of automatic or automated test equipment is ate it means that any apparatus that functions tests on a device is called the device under test dut it is also called unit under test uut it is done with using automation to quickly perform measurements such machines are also utilized to evaluate test results for example an ate could be a simple computer controlled digital multimeter it can even be a complicated system consist of dozens of complex test instruments such machines are basically real or simulated electronic test equipment they are capable of testing and diagnosing faults in sophisticated electronic packaged parts on their own those kinds of machines are also used in wafer testing including system on chips and integrated circuits uses of ate the ate is broadly utilized in the electronic manufacturing industry they are intended to perform electronic components and systems after being fabricated such ate is also inducted to test avionics and the electronic modules in automobiles it also highly useful for military applications it assist in radar and wireless communication machine semiconductor ate architecture possesses a master controller it synchronizes one or more sources and captures instruments the device under test dut is physically attached with ate by another robotic machine it is referred as handler or prober it is done through a customized interface test adapter ita or fixture that adapts the ate's resources to the dut industrial pc the industrial pc is basically a common desktop computer it is packaged in 19 inch rack standards with sufficient pci or pcie slots it is for accommodating the signal simulator or sensing cards this setup performs the role of a controller in the ate the personal computer manages the development of test applications and provides the storage option most modern semiconductor ates contains multiple computer control instruments this setup is to source or measure a wide range of parameters the instruments are bestowed with digital power supplies dps parametric measurement units pmu they also have arbitrary waveform generators awg digitizers digital input outputs and utility supplies the instruments carry out different measurements on the dut various devices of the instruments are collaborated perfectly it will lead to function of source and measure waveforms at the proper times depends on the needs of response time real time systems they are also considered for stimulation and signal capturing mass interconnect the mass interconnect acts as a connector interface between test instruments they include pci extensions for instrumentation PXI, VME extensions for instrumentation (VXI), LAN extensions for instrumentation (LXI), General Purpose Interface Bus (GPIB), Signal Conditioning extension for instrumentation (SCXI) and PCI. They have devices or units under test. This section acts as a nodal point for performing signals. the direction such as going in and out between ate and devices or units under test are coordinated in this area the ate may be utilized on packaged parts typical ic chip or directly on the silicon wafer the packaged parts obtain the help from a handler to perform tasks it will place the device on a customized interface board then the silicon wafers are tested directly with high precision probes further the ate systems interact with the handler or prober to test the dut the ate systems meticulously interface with an automated placement tool the tool is called a handler 
It physically keeps the device under test on an interface. The test adapter can be measured by the equipment. There could be also being an interface test adapter, ITA. It is nothing but a device just making electronic connections between the ATE and the device under test. Wafer-based ATEs typically use a device called prober. It moves across a silicon wafer to test the device. A wafer prober is typically a machine utilized for test integrated circuits. The electrical testing is a set of microscopic contacts or probes. It is called probe card and is held in place while the wafer, vacuum mounted on a wafer chuck, is adjusted into electrical contact, while a die or array of dies is inducted for electrical testing. The prober moves the wafer to the next die or array. The next test can start. The wafer prober loads and unloads the wafers from their carrier or cassette. It is also equipped with automatic pattern recognition optics. They are capable of aligning the wafer with sufficient accuracy. It is done to verify and confirm the registration between contact paths on the wafer and the tips of the probes. There is always some ways to improve test time. The one way is using multiple devices at once. ATE Systems is able to support having multiple sites. The ATE resources are shared equally by a site. In this facility, some resources shall be useful in parallel. Other resources are serialized in a continuous manner to each DUT. There are many ATE platforms function for giving better output data using semiconductor. This is achieved through using standard test data format. It is intended to perform comprehensive standard for the entire ATE industry. It is not only acted as such but also a description of how to analyze test result data. A test system may support STDF without using all the STDF record types. It is also not filling in all the fields of the record types it does use. Conclusion Thus, we have learnt about manufacturing techniques and the following in detail. Handling and operation of fully automated, semi-automated manufacturing and testing machines.